By the end of this video, you will be able to duplicate patterns within FL Studio. I will show you two ways to do this. One way is to duplicate the pattern itself. And the second way will show you how to instantly split this pattern up so that you can duplicate parts of the pattern. So now that this pattern is created, I can hear it by playing this button here. So the first way to duplicate this pattern is to make sure that I have the paint icon selected here. And then I'm going to select the pattern and just left click. And so you can see I'm able to left click in the arrangement and I can duplicate the pattern as many times as I want. To move the pattern, you can just left click and drag like that. If you want to make sure that it snaps correctly, just go up to the step here and make sure that it is selected on step. Another way to duplicate this pattern is to go ahead and hit the select button. So now I can select different parts of this arrangement. Hit control C on your keyboard and then you can go ahead and click control V. That's paste and you can see it inserted another one. So to move that pattern, I will need to go back to the paint icon. And with that pattern selected, I can then snap it to where I would like that pattern. And again, you can do this with multiple patterns by control C on multiple patterns, control V to paste. To delete, again, you can just go up to the paint and then right click. Another way to do this is to have it selected and then control B as in boy, and that will add those select that selection to the end of the arrangement. Okay, so those are several ways that you can duplicate a whole pattern, but let's say you wanted to duplicate just the kick drum into this arrangement here. So the way to do that is to go ahead to the pattern here and right click on the pattern, and then you're gonna go down and click split by channel. And when you do this, it's gonna split that pattern into its individual parts. So you can see the kick, the clap, and the hi-hat are all split now. And so now let's say I wanted to have the clap in here, I can just select it and drag it in like that. And I can have the select icon selected. And again, to move, you're going to need the paint or the draw. But again, you can do this with any one of these. And once you have it selected, you can just left click with the paint icon, same as before. And so that's a really useful tip for being able to change your arrangement quickly and copy and paste pa parts of your pattern the way you would like. Now, if you've made it this far into the video, you probably are interested in saving time in FL Studio. I have another video on how to copy and paste within the piano roll. I'll put a link to it here.